here, man. What a great way to start a stream. Some negative ass shit. Here, let me rephrase that. I'm here. That's what's up. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> let me clear my throat for a few days. But I feel good. My throat feels good. That's for you, Jay House. That's a sniff for Jay House. What's up, Rashad? Damn, you got here quick. Hope you're doing all right. I don't know what the sound's like. I probably should have tested it, Rashad, but I didn't. So you have to, you don't have to endure this. What's up, Richard? How you doing, buddy? You know what, Richard? After all that bullshit, I still didn't do DDP yesterday. I'm going to do it today, I swear. Wait, no, wait, wait. No, I did do DDP, I think. Wait, I don't even remember now. That's so creepy, man. I think I did do it. Hope you guys are doing good. I think I did do it. Five hour nap? That's awesome, man. That's a long ass nap. I mean, that's, dude, that's how much I sleep at night. Damn. Richard, are you enjoying the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? What's up, Aftermath? Hope you're having a good night. Hope everybody's doing good. I, I will stream earlier next time, I promise. I know I said that last time, but I swear I'll stream earlier next time. Richard, just seeing your username makes me realize I have to do DDP yoga. And stop being a pile. I'll do it tonight. <clears throat> I did walk a few miles today. I walked to Target, which is a mile and a half away. You did the DDPY? Yeah, it's... Thank you for reminding me. He doesn't want it to be called DDP. He wants the DDPY. Okay. Rashad, uh... Yeah, Richard owns that. He owns the old Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which you probably know because you're bringing it up. How's the sound, guys? It's not your job in life to tell me how the sound is, but if it's too loud or too low, the shit's got to go. <clears throat> Richard said, I'm speaking for Richard here. No, oh, well, that's not true. I'm just repeating what Richard already said earlier. Richard said he, and he does not regret his purchase of Texas. I'm, none of y'all are into Metroidvanias, huh? Is that just me? Richard, you're, you're almost my age. Do you like Metroidvanias or do you not give a fuck? And I don't want you to say you like them just to appease my white ass, but there's a game called uh, Blasphemous 2 coming out in a few days I'm really excited about. What's up, Trusted? Hope you're having a good night. I'm not just saying that to kiss your white ass, I promise. I don't know why I think you're white. You could be black with dreadlocks 10 feet long. <clears throat> well, thank you, Trusted. I hope you're having a good night as well. My throat feels fine. I'm just clearing it a little bit. I'm praying it's all right. Um, I don't feel sick or anything. And trusted, uh, you're a good influence, you and Richard. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Aftermath, I, I, I keep saying it because I regret... Uh, Diablo 4. And actually, I don't regret Diablo 4 because I just found out me and Savannah can do couch co-op. So, no, I don't regret Diablo 4. I definitely regret that fucking Mickey Mouse game, though. Guys, if you have a Switch, there's a four-player Mickey Mouse game that came out that has no combat. This is a $40 game. Looks beautiful. But there's no combat in it. All you do is run around jumping over shit. It's the most boring game ever, and, and it looked amazing. I was looking so forward to this game, y'all. It's called Mickey's Illusion Island or whatever the fuck. Please don't buy that. Okay, let me... Aftermath did a huge comment. Let me read it. But nobody here is going to buy Blasphemous 2 except me, right? The first Blasphemous was, one, Bla, Blasphemous was a wonderful game. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. That is a name you can't forget, huh, Rashad? Damn. Savannah. Yeah. Isn't it weird there's a dude not 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 your Rashad, but another Rashad in my channel? Because yeah. that's not a Rashad, Rashad is a rare name, at least to my white ass it is. Oh, the other We got, yeah, we got to do more. I know. I'll stop being lazy. I'll do OBS and I'll watch those studios. I know. 
Trusted, hold your eyeballs. Trusted's eyeballs are rolling back. He's heard this before. He said it looked like we had some response. We'll do, okay, we'll do another blog. Savannah? Uh, Rashad bought a game called Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Really? Bomb? Can't forget that shit, huh? Yeah. Awesome yeah. Uh, Richard, I recommend doing it every day for a while. I'm, I'm going to start doing it every day. Since today's Monday, I'm, I'm, I, well, I want to do it every day this week. If, you're, if it really fucks you up, though, dude, you should take a break. <clears throat> Everybody's fitness level is different. I'm not like God's gift of fitness. I mean, I gained 30 pounds, bro. But uh, I, what's up, Rule Time? Hope you're doing all right. I almost started a rap. Why would I, why would I ever want to rap when I see Rule Time? Uh, Richard, I, I, I think... He recommends doing it five days a week, five to seven, but it's up to you, buddy. But I swear to Christ, Richard, I'm doing that fucking DDP tonight. DDPY. And where, what the fuck am I? I haven't played Elden Ring in so long. This is my no magic run. Where the hell am I even going right now? Let's see. Oh, you know what, y'all? Let me see if I have the deck, this medallion. If I do, I'm going to go to the Atlas Plateau. I don't, so i got to get decked this medallion right. You know what, Rashad? I respect that you like that game. I hated it, bro. I hated it. It's, uh, b b the, gaming with Rashad, this is what's weird. The other Rashad that I know bought it and hated it. So I know two Rashads, one who likes the game and one who hates it. I personally, I respect that you like it. I just, I mean, I tried to like it, bro, but there's no combat, and it's just me jumping over shit. I'll tell you what, Rashad, I'll try it one more time, because I, I bought it. You can't return physical games, I don't think. I'm going to go to Walmart and try to riz up the, uh, the cashier there. I just learned that slang word, riz. I'm going to try to flirt with the female, hopefully it's female cashier at Walmart. I'm going to try to flirt with her to return Disney Illusion Island. But, Rashad, before I do, I'll try it one more time, okay? My favorite Christopher Nolan film, uh, have you seen Insomnia? That's Savannah's favorite, too. It's really funny, bro. It's, it's Al Pacino looking like he's about to fall asleep. It's a masterpiece. Most people forget that's my favorite Christopher Nolan movie. That and Interstellar. Anytime he makes a... Yeah. My favorite Christopher Nolan films are Interstellar and Insomnia. Insomnia is a masterpiece. Uh, Robin Williams and Al Pacino are in it. Yeah, Richard, you do what you got to do, bro. I'm doing it tonight. You know, Aftermath, I feel like a lot of people ain't even seeing Insomnia. I like the prestige. Memento's a movie that, like, I, I know it's clever, but I don't, like, love it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not bad. I need to see Memento again. It's a movie you see it and you're like, oh, that's clever, but it's not, like... It's something I want to see again and again. You know, Rule Time, um, I actually didn't like Inception. I know I'm in the minority, but I didn't care about nobody in, in Inception. Like, it, I just feel like it was a bunch of zombies running around with no personality. I, I'll watch it again, bro, but I didn't like it. That's my biggest problem with Nolan. Is he, I, don't, I feel like he doesn't really do a good job of writing characters that I give a shit about. So... No one has to hire, like, the best actor ever to create a character I'd give a fuck about. Like, I think Interstellar worked because McConaughey is such a good actor, and I actually gave a shit about him. But I didn't give a fuck about Leo and in Inception. Now, if you, dude, everybody loves Inception except me. So don't listen to me. If you like Inception, who gives a fuck what this, this guy thinks? But I promise you this, I will watch Inception one more time. I just didn't like it the first time I saw it. But everybody else likes it, so... Yeah, the ones I love offhand is Inter Interstellar, Prestige. I already said all this. Oh, sorry. Uh, wait, why am I apologizing? Probably Insomnia is my favorite. But no, Interstellar. I, ha I had a big emotional response to Interstellar in the theater. And what's funny, my friend likes every Nolan movie except Interstellar. So, you know, different people like different shit, I guess. I also think Interstellar has the most amazing soundtrack in the history of film. 
and it is a fucking travesty. The I, I forget who did the soundtrack. I think it was Howard Shore or it's no no Hans Zimmer. I think the motherfucker wasn't even nominated, guys. Interstellar has the most moving and profound soundtrack I've ever heard in my life, and it wasn't even nominated. It, it's such a good soundtrack. They use it aftermath. It's so good, bro. They the the soundtrack to Interstellar is so good. They use it in TikTok videos all the time. It's the most moving soundtrack I've ever heard in my life wasn't even nominated it's like the guy who directed cats winning best director over david fincher it's unbelievable this motherfucker directed a film called the king's speech which is okay it's like a made-for-tv movie with a bunch of fish islands and he wins best director over david fincher for the social network it's insane it makes no sense y'all you know what else doesn't make sense I'm about to put fire on an arrow and shoot it into a big fucking hand that's 50 feet tall, that's OP as fuck, that if it grabs me, I'm toast. That doesn't make sense. You ready for that? Here we go. <clears throat> Strays. <sighs> you know what's weird, dude? Vin Diesel, before he became Vin Diesel, directed a movie called Strays, but I know that's not what you're talking about. You're talking about something else. Let me look up what you're talking about, uh, Rashad. And I'll be honest with you if I want to see it or not. <laughs> Strays is a 1997 film directed by Vin Diesel, but I know that's not what you're talking about. Let me look up 2023 Strays. Guys, Vin Diesel is only famous because of Steven Spielberg who put him in a I'll say this real quick guys Vin Diesel gives one of the greatest performances in history I swear to you I know you're not gonna believe me you're gonna think Vin Diesel sucks no he doesn't Vin Diesel had a very hard time getting acting jobs because he's multi-ethnic is he black is he Italian what the fuck is he he Vin Diesel made a 20-minute short film it's a horrible title guys I've said this before it's one of the worst titles you'll ever hear in your life it's horrible Vin Diesel made a short film called Multifacial. Sounds like a porn film. It's on YouTube about him as an actor trying to make it. It's, he gives a fucking master class performance in it. And it was so good that Spielberg saw it and put Vin Diesel in Saving Private Ryan. And then Vin Diesel made a few other films and then Vin Diesel became Vin Diesel. But Vin Diesel can act his ass off. Anyway, I know that's not what you're talking about. You're talking about strays, about animals. Yeah, I'd see that, dude. I, you know, bro, I don't know if I want to go to the theater to see it. It's rated R? Really? Bullshit. Wait, it's rated R? How? You know what, uh, uh, Rashad, I'll watch that, yeah. Sure. Just like Stallone, bro, when Stallone, Stallone chooses to do movies where he doesn't have to act that much, but Stallone, when he tries, is one of the best actors ever. Even... Ebert said Stallone was a young Brando in the first Rocky. He was nominated for Best Actor. Stallone can act too, but these guys choose these weird action movies where they don't act. Anybody thinks Stallone can't act, go watch Rocky or go watch um, Tulsa King. That motherfucker can act. Why am I on these stupid rants? I need to shut the fuck up, point this arrow at this hand, and fuck this shit up and hope that hand doesn't get me. Because if that hand gets me, I'm dead. Because I, oh fuck, I just realized I don't have any magic. Great, I have to fight this hand with no magic. I have to use the environment to help me, because these things are no joke, y'all. Fuck. <sighs> Wait, Blue Beetle's already out? Really? I haven't even seen a trailer or anything. Isn't that the start of James Gunn's cinematic universe, or am I tripping, guys? Aftermath, I didn't... There's so many things that I love that I didn't finish. Like, I love Tulsa King, but I didn't finish it. For anybody just tuning in, I'm just some random white guy who's been in a few films you've never heard of that are on Amazon. I've also been on, been on a TV show called Blind Day, which is completely fake bullshit. The girl was into me. 
Um, she said she wasn't into me, but she did invite me to her house afterward for a screening, but I ended up making out with her friend, which was fine because I wasn't dating her to begin with, but it was, I didn't, wasn't cheating, I never dated her. So I'm just some random guy on the internet trying to get famous. Hope you have a good day. Don't feel guilted into watching. This is me shutting the fuck up about that. Uh, how the fuck did Blue Beetle come out? W wait, what's the, okay, what's the start of Gunn's cinematic universe? Has it even started yet? Blue Beetle's already out? Am I that out of touch? What the fuck? Is it a real movie? What? Guys, how the fuck did I not know this? Am I living in a bubble? Am I so drugged out of my mind that I didn't even know there was a Blue Beetle movie? Oh, it's one of the old ones. Okay, so is the start of the, of the DC shit going to be uh, Superman Forever? I... I honestly thought you were bullshitting me, Aftermath. I, I have not heard one thing about Blue Beetle. I thought you were just, I thought you were fucking with me. And guys, don't listen to that bullshit about how the actors sucks. Or every time they cast any anybody as Batman or Superman, people bitch. They bitched about Robert Pattinson. They bitched about Henry Cavill. They bitched about Christopher Reeve. They, they're bitching about this guy. They bitched about Heath Ledger. Anytime anybody's cast in anything, they bitched about Joaquin Phoenix. Well, I don't know if they bitched about him, but... No, nobody bitched about Joaquin Phoenix, but everybody else they bitched about. Oh, shit, there's a... Fuck, man. James Gunn, to me, is like the Tarantino of superhero movies. Because I, I don't watch that many of them, but he'll make me watch them because I think he's talented. I'm dead. Talk to the hand, Greg. Shit. I think Robert Pattinson's the best Batman. That's just my opinion, but I'm not a fan of the Christian Bale Batman. I, I like Christian Bale, but his Batman is just like, it just doesn't do it for me compared to Pat. I think to me, Pattinson is Batman. I'm going to get a lot of shit for that. And if you think that Bale's better, I respect your opinion. Bale's best performance ever, I think, is in The Fighter. Like, Bale would have been a good Joker. Bale was annoyed with his performance. Bale's better used as, like, a nut, you know? Bale even said it sucked. He had to watch Heath Ledger get all the best parts. Bale would have done great as the Joker, too. But I, I like, when I'm watching, when I watch that... Pattinson Batman movie, Bat Pattinson is Batman. And it's not even when he fucking talks. Just the look on that fucker's face. That motherfucker's Batman. Like when he goes into Catwoman's apartment and there's cats everywhere. I do think they missed a good moment. I was hoping that, that uh, Catwoman would turn around and when she turned back, all the cats were sitting on top of Batman. I was hoping they'd do that, but just he's just so good as Batman. I love the Suicide Squad. I heard something... Guys, I heard something that blew my mind. And I've heard two people say this, my dad included. My dad thinks Suicide Squad is better than The Suicide Squad. Let me say that again so your brain can interpret this. And I've heard somebody else say this too. They think the Will Smith, Super, Will Smith Suicide Squad is better than James Gunn Suicide Squad. What the fuck, dude? Are we on the same plane of Earth? I went to the theater to see Suicide Squad, and it was one of the worst pieces of shit I've ever seen in my life. And you could tell that the studio butchered it, because the director, he wrote Training Day. He, man, I'm talking way too much. Sorry, y'all. But he, he said they butchered it, and I believe him. You can especially see it in the Joker scenes. Because one of the worst scenes in the movie is when Common comes in. And uh, he's like talking about Harley Quinn and then the Joker shoots him. That scene is so weirdly edited. You know they butchered that scene. It makes no sense. There's this weird shot of the Joker pointing a gun at the camera. Please, guys, do me a favor. Go watch the scene of the Joker interacting with Common. Like, Common is like, I don't want to fuck with your girl, Joker. Don't get me started on his acting, please. But that scene makes no sense. It was edited to shit. That, that movie was butchered. It, it just makes no fucking sense. I never even saw Birds of Prey. I'm so glad Margot at least got one good movie with her as Harley Quinn, man. At least she got to work with Gunn, you know? Aftermath. 
how the fuck can somebody say that Suicide Squad's better than the the Suicide? It, I, I, it blows my mind. Jesus Christ, man. The Suicide Squad had so much character development and so much love and time and care put into it. And Suicide Squad was just a fucking butchered nightmare. I wish we could see David Ayer or Ayer's version of it. Guarantee you it's better than what they put out. Also, did you know they stole some dude's artwork too? Remember all the really cool artwork for the first Suicide Squad? All those little faces and drawings? That was stolen from some street graffiti artist or something. I don't even think David Ayer had anything to do with that. That's all just shit that was put on the screen. Greg, yes? Can you shut the fuck up, stop ranting, and, and kill these hands? Sure. Okay. You know, Aftermath, um, I've seen about five episodes of that show, and I think it's wonderful. I love the Peacemaker show. I think it's great. I, I thank you for reminding me, man. I need to finish that shit. There's just, guys, there's so much shit out right now. Like, let me tell you the tabs that I have open. I'm watching right now The Sopranos. I'm watching uh, Deadwood. I'm watching uh, a show called, I've told you this before, uh, Fuck. It's an amazing show with the dude from, uh, fuck, man. How do I not remember this? I'm watching Six Feet Under. I'm watching Sopranos. I'm watching Succession. I'm watching um, Barry. I'm watching Deadwood. These are all the tabs I have open. And I'm watching um, Banshee. And I'm watching Greg's, Greg, stop shilling, shut the fuck up, kill the hand. Okay, that's the best one. Vigilante, that sounds really familiar. Let me look that up, Aftermath. You see, guys, when I was younger, I've told you this before, we didn't have that much good content, so there was only a few things to watch. Now there's so much good shit that you basically have to have no life to see it all. That was a mean thing to say. You can have a life and watch everything. Let me rephrase that. You basically... To see everything good, you can't. It's impossible. Let me see who Vigilante is. You know, maybe I haven't met, maybe I haven't seen that character yet. Maybe I'm not that far into Peacemaker. Dude, I think John Cena's great. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Now, I know some people here don't think he's a good actor. That's fine. I respect your opinion, but I, I, I believe him. I think he's wonderful as the peacemaker man and I'm really critical of, of these people that come into acting acting means a lot to me acting's a weird profession guys anybody can be an actor but not anybody can be a good actor you know you don't see people walking in to be a brain surgeon or a fucking cardiologist but in acting any asshole can do it anybody can act but not anybody can be a great actor I think it's really good Rashad I don't know why I stopped watching it I saw maybe four or five episodes I loved it. Dude, thank you for reminding me, Trusted. One of the funniest scenes I've ever seen in my life is from Kick-Ass. It's Nicolas Cage. I don't want to ruin the plot, but he goes, he says, switch to kryptonite, but he goes, switch to kryptonite. Guys, please Google this if you haven't seen it. It's switch to, he's telling his daughter to switch to night vision. But Nicolas Cage goes, switch to kryptonite. It's the funniest thing ever, man. Guys, if I was using magic, I would kill this thing so fast. But now I got to kill it with... Oh, wait, I can use that magic to kill it. Okay. You know, Trusted, I've never seen The Machinist. And if you want me to watch it, I will, I swear. The best performance I've ever seen Bale do, now I haven't seen all his shit, so it'd be ignorant for me to say it is his best, is he won the Oscar for it, uh, The Fighter. Yeah, Aftermath, Bale said he can't do that shit no more. It's Because, dude, when you do that too much, it, it fucks you up. Jared Leto really screwed himself, because did you guys know Leto got fat? You might not even know this. Jared Leto got fat as fuck for a movie that wasn't even good. Imagine letting your body turn to shit, and then the movie sucks. 
that happened with Leto. He played uh, the guy that killed uh, John Lennon. And he got, he, Jared Leto turned into a, a fucking fat guy, dude. And the movie Blue, I saw it. Guys, um, I have to go do my laundry in a sec. I wish y'all could go with me. That sounds really weird. Let me rephrase that. None of y'all wants to go in the fucking laundry room with me, but I wish that I could bring the camera with me. Look at that thing doing a dance to avoid my shit. Ah, shit. Faked my ass out, man. Got that son of a bitch. Has anybody here finished Barry? Does anybody here like Barry? Does anybody here think I should wa either A, watch Barry, B, shut the fuck up about Barry, or C, what do you think about the show, Barry? <clears throat> I heard about that trusted, that diet. That sounds like a nightmare. An apple, coffee, and cigarettes? Fuck. Okay, Aftermath, I'll, I'll finish Barry. Hey, y'all, I'll be quick. All I got to do is switch my laundry over. Um, my cat has its own chair, his own chair. And if you don't mind watching him, I'm going to put you... I'll be back real fast. If you, if you have to leave, I understand. But let me introduce you to my cat, who's sitting... He's watching... Well, I don't think he's very entertained by Elden Ring, but he's sitting right next to me. His choice. I didn't put him there. He's chilling in the computer chair. Jesse. Well, I don't know why I'm trying to wake him up, but. Just gonna go switch my laundry, y'all. Uh, maybe the cat will talk to you while I'm gone. Yeah, he's out cold, man. Nothing turn nothing puts him to sleep quicker than Elden Ring for some reason. Alright, I'll be right back. <clears throat> and uh Laundry isn't a euphemism for me going to do drugs or anything, I promise. I'm I'm really going to do the laundry, I swear. I swear.
<laughs> Thank y'all for staying. That's true, trusted. We don't want to turn it to another old studio. I'm sick of... Dude, I want to surprise you, man, and say that I fucking watched it. <clears throat> That's what I... Did you hear me singing that, dude? I was singing that shit, yeah. I love the deer hunter. Trusted, I think the best war movie ever made, I know I've ranted about this, it's Das Boot, but please don't watch the director's cut, bro. It's a German movie with subtitles, I know, fucking subtitles, but you gotta find the uncut version. It's Das Boot, and it's like five and a half hours long, bro. It means the boat. It's all in a submarine, it's this German submarine, it's like the most intense war movie I've ever seen in my life. It's my favorite war film, but please, for the love of Christ, fuck the director's cut. It's two and a half hours long, no. The, the director's cut of Das Boot is called, Greg, you better shut the fuck up about this soon. I promise I will, but it's, I think it's five, six hours long. Okay. <clears throat> I swear I'm going to kill this fucking hand. Oh, I didn't die. Because, dude, this made me realize that I'm so thankful to God and Sonny Jesus that I never got on a submarine because it's six hours in this submarine with this crew of Germans. So it's it, what's weird too is you're watching the Germans during World War II. You're not even watching like the, the US. You're watching the Germans going after the British and it's terrifying because you're it's so claustrophobic. The opening is them like having fun before they get on the submarine. I'm not gonna ruin anything, but the opening is everybody getting shit faced before they have to go out to sea. That's what all sailors do. That's what my, my, uh, my uh, group did too. You get shit faced. And then you go out, I gotta watch this movie again, man. I'm gonna watch it tonight, maybe. Some of it. They all get ship-faced, and then just imagine being in this tiny submarine. There's British ships looking for you, and they have anti-submarine mines they're sending down to you, and, you, and you, it's so intense and crazy that you can't even talk because the British like uh, sonar might hear you. And then if you hit a mine, it can blow you up, and you're sweating, and you have a beard and you might die one second and it's claustrophobic and holes go in. It, it's fucking insane, guys. This movie's, okay, now I wanna watch it again. Let me show y'all what you gotta find, though. I don't even know how the fuck you would find the real version of it. Yeah, l let me show you the DVD. I had, it, what's annoying is there's a Blu-ray. God damn. That hit the ground so hard. This camera's been through hell, y'all. What's annoying is there's a Blu-ray, but it's of the wrong thing. Just like with Blade Runner, the director's cut is not the director's cut. The final cut of Blade Runner is the director's cut. And I'll show you what the DOS boot director's cut looks like. This movie's so good, I want to help you all try to see the right version. So let me look. It's, I don't even know if it's available on Blu-ray. You have to get the fucking DVD. So I wish they would tell people this, man. The guy that directed it... Wolfgang Peterson directed The Never Ending Story, one of the best movies ever made. So this is what the DVD looks like. It's the original uncut version, and it is, let's see how long it is, 293 minutes. Do we have any math whizzes here? How many hours is 293 minutes? I know, does anybody know that? This is, I think, the best war movie for sure ever made. This and The Deer Hunter. So that's for the DVD. Let me show you what not to get. I love Vietnam films too. I love the one where Tom Cruise is in a wheelchair, um, born on the 4th of July. Why did I just ruin that? Forget, I, forget you heard me say that, but there's an amazing war Vietnam movie with Tom Cruise called Born, I think that's a Vietnam. No, it's, I don't wanna say no, it's gotta be longer, bro. If, if, if that's only three hours, I have the wrong one. What's 293 minutes? You're, yeah. I'll look it up. That'd be funny if all this time I had the wrong version. I'm looking it up. 293 minutes to hours. Oh, okay, so I'm wrong too. It's almost five hours. So we're both wrong. What's up, Call of Dark Souls? 
Call of Dark Souls, um, we're talking about war movies. Please, if you ever watch DOS Boot, don't watch the director's cut. Here, let's see if there's a Blu-ray. I'm going to go on Amazon. Call of Dark Souls probably thought he was going to tune in and see me whooping some Elden Ring ass, but nope, he tunes in and sees me looking down at my phone, and you can't even see the fucking shit that I'm looking up. So I'm going to look up DOS Boot. I will shut up about DOS Boot, I promise. Soon. You type it in, and a big fucking beer stein comes up. <clears throat> okay, so this is what comes up. Ooh, DOS Boot Blu-ray, but it's not the right thing, man. It's bullshit. All these people are, who anybody who ever watches DOS Boot, 98% of them aren't even going to see the right one. They're going to go, oh, DOS Boot Director's Cut. That's got to be the right one. No. Nope. Now, this says runtime 3 hour and 28 minutes. So I guess the one I have has another hour and a half or something. Yeah, I love Platoon, dude. Ugh. I wonder how many times Willem Dafoe is walking down the street and somebody does this to him. That's got to happen to Dafoe every week, right? I bet you there is not one week in the life of Willem Dafoe, but well, let's say month, because that movie's old, where he doesn't walk down the street and somebody doesn't just do this to him. And he knows what the fuck they're talking about. He knows what the fuck they're meaning about. And then they go, hey, you should play the Joker, man, as if he hasn't heard that a billion times. So yes, in this instance, I swear I'll shut up about it. If you ever watch DOS Boot and you download it, make sure it's four hours long. Or if you buy it, make sure it looks like this. And yes, if I bring it up again without y'all bringing it up, I'm going to smash this over my fucking head, okay? Platoon, I used to watch that all the time as a kid. Uh, the dude from Entourage in it, he's such a piece of shit. Uh, Matt Dillon's brother, Kevin, I think his name is Kevin Dillon. His character's such a scumbag, dude. What a piece of shit that guy was. I think he kills, like, little kids. I, I can't remember what he does. He smashes people's face in for no reason, kills a bunch of people. He get... I haven't seen Platoon in forever, man. I used to watch that all the time. Oh, guys, there's a documentary out. Two and a half hours long, I think, about the making of Platoon. Everybody's in it. Johnny Depp, everybody. I gotta watch that. It's called Brothers in Arms. I have never seen Hamburger Hill. Then there's another movie called The Big Reb One that just had a director's cut recently released. It's supposed to be amazing. So, yeah, I love war movies, y'all. Has anybody here seen uh, The Great Escape? Oh, that movie, I know it's older than shit, but that's such a good movie, y'all. If you haven't seen The Great Escape, I highly recommend it. It's older than dirt, but it's a masterpiece. Should I go try to kill that big sumbitch? Yeah. I'm glad you saw Platoon, Trusted. That's, that's, uh, that's a movie every man should see. There's certain movies every man should see. Roadhouse is one of them. Tombstone is one of them. Platoon's one of them. It's a real man's movie. I mean, my, so I think I showed that to Savannah. She liked it, too. But not every woman's going to like Platoon, but every man's going to like Platoon. You know what's really funny, dude? There's one quick scene where Oliver Stone gets blown up in it. The director of Platoon, he's in it for like five seconds. He's on the phone, and then some uh, some gentleman who's not American runs up and blows him to bits. It's, it's really funny. He's like, hey, how's it going, home? Whoa, the dude gives me... I never noticed that. He gives me the finger. He literally gives me the middle finger. These fucking hands have no chill, man. Hamburger Hill. Okay, I'll check it out. Trusted, this will not become the new Oat Studio, okay? Why does everything you recommend have fucking food in the title? Oat Studio, Hamburger Hill. Not everything, just two things. But, but you see the pattern here? 
And then, wait, Trusted, were you talking about the machinists? Because you were talking about apples and shit. So who, who was talking about the machinists? Was that Aftermath? or I hope it was Trusted. I bet it was Aftermath, but... Uh, Aftermath, usually I don't like the theatrical cut, but I'm with you, man. The fucking... Uh, the French scene in Apocalypse Now is so boring, dude. That shit goes on forever. But I love the Playboy Bunnies scene. Aftermath, I got something to show you. I know you love Blu-rays. Blue What's up, Nameless Noah? Hope you're doing all right. Trusty keeps telling me to watch uh, movies that have, uh, uh, that have food in the title. Oat Studio, Hamburger Hill. Well, two movies. Okay, I'm going to write down Hamburger Hill. That joke's not that funny. I'm going to shut the fuck up about it. But <clears throat> Lies of Pita Bread, okay. Hamburger Hill, Aftermath. Do you have the new Blu-ray of uh, Apocalypse Now? It's like... Probably my favorite looking Blu-ray. Noah, it's good to see your username. I'd say it's good to see your face, but I'd be talking out of my ass. Check this out, Aftermath. You probably have this. Now, th you might think I'm a fucking idiot, guys, but I didn't notice for a while that the reflection in the water, it was trusted. Oh, good, okay. So yeah, everything trusted talks about involves food. Aftermath, do you have this? You have this, right? This is the most recent Blu-ray version of Apocalypse Now, but if you look at the reflection in the water, it's Marlon Brando. Isn't that dope? This thing is sick, dude. It, 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 it's really reflective. Of course, it's getting all scratched up and shit. 40th anniversary edition. This is probably the second or third time I've bought Apocalypse Now. I know Aftermath has this. Nameless Noah, I love that Bloodhound Fang. And I, that, is that a subtle hint for me to shut the fuck up and play the game? Because I'm going to do it, okay? Nameless Noah's being nice, he's being polite, and he's saying, Greg, you need to shut that white ass up and go chop some shit up with that Bloodhound Fang. I'll do it. You have this, right, Aftermath? I'm just going to sit here holding this till Aftermath responds, even if it takes two hours. I'm going to sit here holding this until my arms fall off. Because I know Aftermath's going to go, oh, I have that. No, nah, you don't have to respond to Aftermath. It's cool. Damn, this has a lot of discs. Then there's... Let me ask you... Okay, this is the last thing I'll say about this. Aftermath, have you seen... Guys, there's a... Coppola's wife made a documentary about the making of this movie. It's so good. It's called Hearts of Darkness. And Coppola was coked up the whole shooting of Apocalypse Now. It was insane. But his wife, thank Christ, his wife shot a full feature-length documentary about Apocalypse Now. It's part of this Blu-ray. I swear to God I'm going to shut up about this. I've turned into this shill that won't shut the fuck up. So, <clears throat> And I, I, I promise I'll watch that, Trusted. Yeah, I wrote it down. I, I do want to see that. Hamburger Hill. I'll get me a 1080p Blu-ray rip. It is 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's pretty damn good. Fuck, dude. Well, there goes my run. Damn. Guys, do you know how hard this is with no magic? I mean, if I paid attention, I'd do better, but... I think a hamburger helper, too. When I was a kid, I used to eat that shit all the time. Damn. Does it bother y'all that when like the sword is going through the shield. I know it's a stupid thing, but it bothers me. Oh, dude, I'm not trying to make it to Ranny. No, I'm not doing that this run. There'd be no point. Like you're saying, because then I wouldn't even be able to use the shit. No, no, I'm not trying to get to her, bro, I promise. Damn, usually I get past this shit. Guys, what the hell is wrong with me? I never even activated this save point. It's like right here. 
guys, when, whenever, whenever you do the Ronnie or Ranny, it's never what I think it is. Quest line, it's just basically just looking at the internet the whole time. I gotta go talk to this guy, and I gotta talk to this 12 foot tall wolf head, and then I gotta go meet the 12 foot tall wolf head at the bottom of a basin, and then I gotta not kill the wolf head, and then I gotta save the wolf head, and then the wolf head tries to kill me, and then I kill the wolf head. Whatever his name is, Bla Blythe. Who the fuck's idea was it to... Did you know that's how you pronounce it? The, the big wolf head guy? It's not Blad. It's Blythe. It's spelled B-L-A-I-D-D, -D, but it's pronounced Blythe. Like, what the fuck? It's like they're trying to fuck with your head, dude. It could be this way, Dark Soul. It's so convoluted, her quest line. I, I don't remember. Here, I'll just run through here, man. Oh, they could have let me use they could have let me use my horse if they wanted. Here, let's see what happens when I run through this shit. I can either take my time and kill a billion hands or I can just run my ass right through. I'll just do that. Damn, dude, that barely missed my ass. Shit. I really want the soul, this thing. Oh, wait, I can't even use that. I'd have to have a staff. What's, I just realized, I just died for no reason, y'all. It's a no magic run. And that little beetle thing gives you a really cool thing that I love in theory, but I never use it. It gives you like the carrion sword that you thrust, but that's magic. I can't even use it. So there's no point. It is hot as balls in here, man. Yeah, Dark Souls, it, you're basically just looking at the phone the whole time. This is gonna sound weird, dude. I don't give a fuck about the story, and I, I still don't know the story of Dark Souls or Bloodborne. I don't give a shit about any of that shit. All I care about is the gameplay. I care about dodging. I care about slowly getting to the boss. There's nothing I care less about than the story in Dark Souls. Now, I love the story in a game like Days Gone or Red Dead, but not in Souls games. I don't give a fuck. Now, since your username is Dark Souls, that's probably sacrilege to you. You probably care, but not me. I just care about the gameplay. You've never used magic? Damn, dude. Let me tell you something, man. Magic is a cakewalk in this game. You, you, cause all you, cause dude, especially if you level up intelligence, I can just back up and just kill everything by doing this. You know, with the stupid glintstone pebble. You actually have to work for a living when you don't use magic. Nameless Noah, I wanted to. But there's no way in fuck I'm giving Rockstar $50. Guys, they are out of their fucking mind. $50 for Red Dead 1, which, by the way, was a PS Now game a couple months ago before they discontinued it. I'm so, thank you so much, Nameless Noah, for bringing this up. Guys, do you understand how greedy and fucking insane $50 is? $50 for a PS1 game. It's not remade. It's not remastered. They didn't add jack dick to it. 50 fucking dollars. That is robbery. That is fucking insane. That would be a bad deal for a remaster. It's not even a remaster. It's not a remake. It's nothing. It's lazy corrupt bullshit. Please don't buy that shit. You want to know how much Red Dead 1 should cost? $9.99. That's it. Not a fucking penny more. $19.99 is a ripoff. There's nothing added to it. And I don't want to hear about No One Dead Nightmare. That shit is old as dirt. It's, guys, $50. They're almost charging the price of a new game. You do understand that's fucking insane, right? $50. Do you know how much money $50 is? 
that's so much money. And what the sad thing is, according to the data analyst or whatever the fuck, is a top 10 selling game. It's sad. Now, if you want to spend that, it's fine. But just know you're getting fucked. You are getting bent over and fucked. Not by a dildo. You're getting fucked by the real shit. And you may or may not get an STD. You're getting fucked. $50. I, 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 I can't even fathom that. Let me go tell Savannah this. I, I want to hear what she has to say about this. Good job, Richard. Okay, I got to work out today too, man. I, it's not a contest. And I know that's weird, Richard. Every time you say something, no, it's about me. But no, we're both doing the same workout. So I'm with you, buddy. That's great, man. I'm proud of you. So just know, Richard, that you're motivating me. Me too, Nameless Noah. They need to fully remake it. Have you guys played Red Dead 1 lately? The controls are abhorrent. <clears throat> Guess what, Savannah? Rockstar just re-released Red Dead 1. Guess how much it is? Now, before I tell you the price, I want you to know something. It's not a remake. It's not a remaster. There's nothing added to it at all. It's just the PS1 game. They've done nothing. Guess how much it is? $50. There's nothing. No remake. No remaster. No nothing. And there was a, there was a, a service, streaming service, I, don't, I think it's defunct, called PS Now. And it was on there for free back then. The controls are horrible now, especially if you're used to Red Dead 2 or anything new, you know? I, now, I'm sure it was great when it came out, but $50. Is that or is that not bending over and getting fucked? They're fucking you. $20 is too much. It should have been $9.99. $50. 14 yeah, $14.99 is fine. It's insane. insane. But I can't fathom... Those scumbags charging that much. 50 Actually, I take it back because I might work with them someday. Those lovely individuals charging what it's worth. An old-ass game that we've done nothing to. $50. Okay. I don't even think Red Dead 2 costs $50 right now. Here, let me go. Guys, do you realize that Red Dead 1 might cost more than Red Dead 2 right now? If that's true, that's fucking nuts. And if it doesn't, it's only $10 away. And Red Dead 2 is the best game ever made, in my opinion. What sucks? What happened to Noah? I haven't worked out lately. Noah, um, I hope you feel better, man. And you're definitely not going to feel better if you spend 50 to Okay, I'll stop. I won't bitch about Red Dead 1 anymore. I'll shut up. <clears throat> it's insane, Richard. And they've done nothing to it. I'll stop bitching about it, I swear. I hope you feel better, Noah. Um... I'm not going to give you any stupid, shitty advice. Oh, just smile or any of that bullshit. Ah. I think you're cool, Noah. I think you're awesome. And I think, well, awesome's cringe. Let, let, I don't, you don't want to hear somebody calling you awesome. I think you're cool, Noah. I don't think you're a piece of shit, so that's good. And whatever's bumming you out, I hope that uh, it ceases, you know? Guys, I'll shut up about Red Dead, but I have to know what they're charging for the for Red Dead 2 right now. Do you see that, Rich? Uh, Noah? Look what Richard just said. Richard doesn't seem like the bullshitting type, so I believe him when he says shit like that. Alright, I swear I'll shut up, guys. I'm just going to look at the price of Red Dead 2. <clears throat> Oh, wait, since I own it, it's not going to tell me. Here, I'll go to Amazon, and then I'll stop talking about it. Okay. Yep. Red Dead 2 disc version is $27.99. So, the digital version 
of Red Dead One, a game that came out over a decade ago, costs more than Red Dead Two? Just, just, just let that sink in for a minute, please. With nothing added to it. And I guess what, guys? That's it. No more bitching. I swear. This definitely ain't gonna bring Noah up. Me bitching about fucking Rockstar. And guys, I know it's late. I'll probably stream another like 10 minutes. Um, Y'all are been very nice. You're always nice. You know, Noah, I own the disc version of that, which is annoying. I wish I owned a digital. Oh, poor, poor white boy who has to put his disc in the machine, but I enjoy it. Do you, which version of that do you have, buddy? There's like a billion versions. It gets confusing. I think I have the newest version. Um, I think I have Afterbirth. Whatever's the, whatever's the new one I have. That's a hard game. You know, Noah, <clears throat> thank you for reminding me. I'm going to play that again. That's a good game, man. Binding of Isaac. The reason I bought the disc was it was a really good deal. Um, I think it was expensive as shit to get it digitally. Or w w whenever I bought the disc, it was hella cheap. So yeah, if I'm curious what version you're playing. There's Binding of Isaac. There's like three versions of it. Me too, Noah. Yeah, Richard. Um, usually I don't sweat a lot, but it, it, but when I'm doing the DDP, yeah. And especially when you got to hold the... Uh, and, and also, Richard, it, this is a weird thing. My, I don't know if your heels touch the floor. Bro, my heels don't touch the floor. You know when you do the downward dog? My calves are really tight. My heels are like this far off the floor. So, so to, if your heels aren't touching the floor, don't feel bad. We're talking about guys a yoga move. It's basically where you're making a triangle shape with your body. It's like pretend you do a push up and then you put your butt up in the air. When I do that, my heels go up. So, Richard, if your heels are like this far off the ground, don't feel bad. Savannah's heels touch the ground. Mine don't. You have the latest. You don't get. There's a PS5 upgrade for Binding of Isaac? Huh. I gotta try that, man. Jeez, Richard, I'm sorry to hear that. Dude, I'm glad that... I'm still glad that you're doing it, though, bro. I bet it's gonna help. And I'm Googling what cerebral poly... I don't even know what that is. I've heard of that, Richard, but I... I'm Googling it so I don't feel like an idiot. Okay. It affects body movement and muscle coordination. So you're a baller for doing that, dude. I've heard of cerebral palsy. I just didn't know what it was offhand. So, dude, the fact you're, you're even doing the workout's awesome, man. Okay. Yeah, dude, de I didn't know you had that, man. So, def yeah, definitely do it at your own pace, bro. And if it's, if it's hurting in a not good way, please stop. And you, I'm sure you know what that means. You know, like... It, There's a car. Oh yeah, there's a card game too. That looked dope. <clears throat> Jeez, man. Are you able to walk, Richard? And you don't have to answer this shit if you don't want to. Can you walk, or do you have to? Um, do you need help when you walk? Or I know it's weird having two completely different conversations at once, but. Going with the Binding of Isaac thing, um, there's a documentary called Indie Game. Please watch this, um, Nameless Noah, if you haven't seen it. Indie Game, the movie, it shows them making, the guy that make, made Binding of Isaac, it shows him making Super Meat Boy with another guy. I bet that other guy feels bad he left. The other guy was best friends with the guy that made Binding of Isaac, but they, they broke up after Super Meat Boy, and I think his name's Edward McMullen or something who made Binding of Isaac. I think he's worth like $15 million now, and the other guy's worth less than a million, I think. I'm glad you can walk, Richard. That's a blessing right there, man. 
But so yeah, dude, I didn't know any of this shit. So definitely be careful doing that DDP, man. And Nameless Noah, please, for the love of Christ, watch um, Indie Game the movie. It'll show you the creator of Binding of Isaac. I don't want to kill this doggy, man. So yeah, definitely take it slow. Thank you for telling me that too, man. Otherwise, I might be giving you bad information, you know? Oh, yeah, bro, just power through it, and yeah, yeah, so definitely, I, I definitely would take, take my time with it. Yeah, don't power through it. If it's, if it's hurt, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, man. You know what, guys? Before, okay, I'm going to stream a few more minutes. I'm going to try to summon in help here. I, God, this boss is hard as shit without magic. Yeah, Rashad. Um, I feel like I'm the only one here who likes Metroidvanias, which is fine. Uh, there is a game coming out in three days called uh, Blasphemous 2. That's what I'm looking forward to, Rashad. I'm also looking forward to The Lies of P, which comes out, I forget, like a month from now. Lies of Pinocchio or some shit. Starfield. That's all, and then there's another game, it's another Metroidvania, it's called The Last Faith, it's like a Kickstarter game. What about you, Rashad, what are you looking forward to? You're the need for speed guy, right? Yeah, Richard, Metroidvania, it's basically a game where you backtrack a lot, and, and like, you, you, go, you go to a bunch of rooms and you can't open them until you get upgrades and shit, then you gotta backtrack it. Okay, if you played Hollow Knight, that's probably the most famous Metroidvania now. It's like that. Completely forget how to summon help. Oh. But if you guys look up Blasphemous 2, it's going to be dope. That's the newest good Metroidvania coming out. It has great reviews. You might like the Metroidvanias, guys. Yeah, Richard. Hollow Knight, I think, is free also. You, you guys might like this game. I think it's a free PlayStation game, too. I cannot believe I forgot how to summon help, man. I have not played Elden Ring in a minute. That is not how to summon help. I just completely wasted my shit. Well, no, I didn't waste it, but... Oh, I remember now. I gotta do this shit. Okay. Guys, I have been to this area a billion times. You know what, Noah? He hasn't. I... Uh, I tried to talk to him too, bro. I'll have to message him again. I think it's Oblivion, right? I'm glad you brought that up, Noah. God dang it. That was just a misunderstanding too, man. Yeah, nobody called me fat, by the way, guys. It was a complete misunderstanding. I haven't thought about that in a minute, man. I'll message him again, dude. It was, this is the problem with, like, sarcasm in text. You could just read it the wrong way, but I, I finally got what the guy was saying. I thought a guy called me fat, but he didn't. That, that's the story right there. Oh, that's, oh, you got a whole list. Nice, dude. So Rashad, I'm definitely looking forward to the Cyberpunk expansion, Cyberpunk expansion and the Mario Wonder game. Guys, that game looks amazing. I watched the trailer today with Savannah. Hey. Uh, hey. Yeah, those are some good games, Rashad. I might try that Mario RPG, too. I've never played a Mario RPG. That summoner's weapon's really good. It looks familiar. I forget what it's called. Oh yeah, that thing, man. 
whoever I just summoned, if, if, if you think I'm a nut, I'm talking to, I'm live streaming right now. So I'm not talking to myself, I promise. I remember that weapon. Nameless Noah. I'll try it. You know, I've never played a sports game. Isn't that crazy? I, I've never... The only sports game I've ever played is NBA Jam. And that game came out, like, a long time ago. We're talking about Sega Genesis. I've never played any of the new ones. So I can't say I don't like them. Because I've never played them. Maybe I would like them. You never know, man. Never played a sports game. I just broke those chairs, but... Oh, you're right. Noah fucking forgot about that. I can continue the weapon art here. Let me try it now. Better late than ever. Oh, I hit R1, don't I? Fuck. There's something I hit because I found it out by accident, Noah. I, I hit... I forget how to do it, but I dash forward invisible, right? No. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Okay. How do I can... That's it. Okay. Thank you, buddy. I, for, I, I completely forgot I could continue that weapon art. You know what, Rashad? If one of them becomes free, I'll try it. One of those uh, sports games. Is this what you're talking about, Noah? That's dope, dude. I did not know that. Or I forgot it. You played NBA Jam, Richard? Oh, you played in the arcade, man. I haven't thought about that in years. I, I probably saw it in the arcade. I never played it, though. Yeah, look at that, guys. Noah's right. I do this. Now, I don't... How would I... Hmm, I gotta Google how to make a posture break build. That's pretty cool, dude. I've never done that. Instead of asking you and putting you on the spot, I'm gonna look up how to do it. So you don't have to do all the work. Oh, that's sick, man. Sorry. See, Noah, I never would have remembered if you didn't tell me. <clears throat> oh, okay. Talisman, Ashes of War. That's right, dude. Guys, I promise I will stream earlier tomorrow. Um... Y'all are awesome. And Richard, I have a newfound respect for you, dude, because now I really got to stop being lazy when I'm doing the DDP, knowing what you got to deal with doing it. Okay, Noah, so, yeah, I'm going to, I'm never going to forget, bro. It's so sick, that second what weapon part. And I want to get that weapon that the other person had who was helping me. I've had it before. I don't remember what it's called, though. Yeah, guys, whenever, if you're doing a workout, just remember Richard has to deal with the cerebral palsy shit, and he's still doing it. He's working out more than me with that shit. And, I don't, and he brought that up first, so I don't feel bad bringing it up. So, Richard, I don't have no excuse, man.
Um, oof. Thank you all for tuning in. I will be back tomorrow. Should I play more of this shit or should I play something else? What do y'all think? Fuck Bloodborne, right? Because I'm still stuck in the first level. Rashad, that shit creeps me out so much, man. Because they, they, those games creep me out because those are the games you always see. $129.99. They never, they never show you the base game price in the store. It's always $99.99 gold edition, $129.99 platinum edition. And then it comes with these weird coins that people get hooked to. I'm not judging them. I'm just saying it's, those games are real microtransaction-y, man. It creeps me out. 129. You know, Noah, I'm kind of bored. Okay, you know what? I'll, you, do you want me to stream that? I'll stream that tomorrow. If you want me to stream it. If you want me to stream Remnant 2, I'll fucking do it. I'll do it, dude. I haven't played it since I streamed last. You know what's sad, guys? This dirty-ass outfit. I, I spent 45 minutes farming to get this dirty-ass outfit. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot 4. Is that a free game? That is a free game, isn't it, dude? I'm going to get that. Okay. DS1. Okay. DS1 could be fun. I'll get the Crash Bandicoot as well. It's either going to be Dark Souls or the Bandicoot, man. Savannah hates in Crash Bandicoot when you have to run toward the camera. She hates that shit. Ugh. All right, guys, you were awesome. I'm going to shut my white ass up, and I will be back tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to get me that Bandicoot game. You might see me running toward the camera tomorrow. I'm going to download it right now before I forget. All right, goodbye, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Um, and I'm going to shut.